In this video, you are going to learn how addition and subtraction are linked. Why is this relationship important? Because we can use it to help make maths easy. Here is a simple equation, 2 plus 3. When we add 2 and 3, we find the total is, you've got it, 5. In this example, 2 and 3 are called the parts, and the parts make up the whole which is 5. We can represent this equation using a part-part-whole model. The parts go in these small boxes, and the whole goes in the larger box. This is another way to show that 2 and 3 make 5. The part plus the part equals the whole. That means that 3 plus 2 must also equal 5. So, we know that part plus part equals the whole. We can also use this part part whole model to represent subtraction. If our whole is 5 and we take away the part 3, we are left with the other part, 2. 5 take away 3 equals 2. The whole take away one part equals the other part. Let's try the turnaround. Because we are doing subtraction, we must still begin with the whole, but this time we will subtract two. We are left with the remaining part, three. Let's have a look at another example, four plus six. Our two parts are four and six. Let's add our two parts to find our whole. Four and six equals 10. Our whole is 10. Part plus part equals whole. 4 plus 6 equals 10. And 6 plus 4 equals 10. Whole take away part equals the other part. 10 take away 4 equals 6. And 10 take away 6 equals 4. So we know addition and subtraction are related. But why is this relationship important? Well, it can be really useful because we can use addition to help us solve subtraction problems. Let's take a look at this equation. 19 take away 17. 19 is the whole. 17 is the part that we must take away. The equation is asking us to work out what part will be left over. We could work this out by subtracting 17 from 19. But there's an easier way. Let's use the relationship between addition and subtraction to turn this problem around. We know that the part plus the part equals the whole. That means 17 plus something equals 19. We know that 17 plus 2 equals 19. That means that 19 take away 17 must equal 2. Let's try one more. 11 take away 8. Because it's subtraction, 11 is the whole. 8 is one of the parts, and we are missing the other part. Let's think about this as an addition problem. 8 plus something equals 11. 8 plus 3 equals 11. That means 11 take away 8 equals 3. Using addition to solve subtraction is easy. EasyTeaching.net